Nev here. I want to appreciate the support on the latest video, so I figured, hey, let's continue our series and talk about the Void Knight's equipment. So, this video will be all about that. Now, this won't be about Elite Void, as that will be a separate video. It'll be a complete history and the maximum possible hit using Void. Now, this won't be um, uh, RS3 Void as it has been upgraded so much that there is actually superior and a, a superior elite avoid so we'll save that for separate videos stay tuned let's go a little bit into what the void knight equipment actually was or is it was released way back in 2007 it is a members only item it is not a quest item and it is not tradable so these these have been in the game for a very long Again, this is part of a game called RuneScape 3, which is basically another form of RuneScape that Jagex, the parent company, works on. So they work on both OSRS and RuneScape 3. Again, this is part of a game called RuneScape 3, which is basically another form of RuneScape that Jagex, the parent company, works on. So they work on both OSRS and RuneScape 3. All this information is going to be taken from the OSRS wiki, so shout out the OSRS wiki, guys. So the Void Knight's armor is widely used in the Zerker combat range, as it, it requires 42 defense, and it is acquired from a minigame called Pest Control, released way back in 2006. And the requirements for Void are 42 attack, strength, defense, hit points, ranged, magic, along with 22 prayer, so you're looking at around a decent combat level to even wear this equipment. So I went ahead and seen what the lowest possible combat you can have Void is at. With 42 in each stat, except Prayer which would be 22, you would be 51.05 combat and a warrior based account. Actually viable and it leaves room for 16 magic or range levels without gaining a single combat level well actually 15 but as control is your team destroys four separate portals that their shield weakens and then you're able to attack the portals they keep spawning monsters that attack a void knight in the middle of the map and once all the portals are destroyed your squad gets points going over what void knight armor actually does he contributes defensive bonuses to all stats including mage and range without lowering any attack bonuses. Wearing a complete set offers various combat bonuses which make armor a popular choice for players using multiple attack styles. A full set of void without the mace which we'll go into costs around 850 points. Now this is not the elite variant. The elite variant costs around 300 points extra to upgrade the both top and bottom we'll talk about that in a future video though going over what void knight armor actually does he contributes defensive bonuses to all stats including mage and range without lowering any attack bonuses wearing a complete set offers various combat bonuses which make armor a popular choice for players using multiple attack styles a full set of void without the mace which we'll go into costs around 850 points now this is not the elite variant. The elite variant costs around 300 points extra to upgrade the both top and bottom. We will talk about that in a future video though. Well builds for Void with the lowest possible defense being 42 such as this 99 attack, 42 defense, 99 prayer build. However this will not be that viable. It up being maxed or even 70 defense with the same build and just higher combat is better. These are very popular on the Zerker build and they are actually just overpower peers. If you have a 99 combat void build and you're going against a peer that is like 88, 89 combat, you just overpower them in every way. He said, Void Knight armor actually provides no offensive bonuses whatsoever. That being only defensive that it boosts, besides a set effect that I will explain later in this video. But, so it is not completely null against a battle against a peer. A peer can win against a void account. If they are the same combat, a peer can actually uh, 
put up a good fight against a void account as pure armor does actually give offensive bonuses. That being said, because because the full the full void knight armor, you do actually need the gloves as well, and that uh, a pure can just use a, like a regen bracelet or like adamant. For the hash, it requires a full set with actually zero attack bonuses whatsoever. So what makes this armor actually? Very, very popular within the community. Well, we have a lot to explain here, but complex here, but it's not actually that complex. There's actually three separate helmets to Void, representing the combat triangle. So, we have the melee, range, and mage helmet. Now, you don't have to bring each and every helmet with you every time. If you're using only melee, just you can only bring the only melee. If you want to bring only range and melee, you can bring the ranger in the melee if you want to bring all three, which is what I usually do for what I need to do, which is tribrid PKing, then I bring all three. But that being said, void is kind of self-explanatory in the sense that it is the void. It pr provides like a neutral effect. However, it does have its own specialty in the sense that hey, you have the melee helmet, the ranger helmet, and the the mage helmet. The mage helmet providing accuracy 45% and the ranger helmet providing what this is the big biggest caveat here because you can actually get actually range damage and accuracy making it the strongest hitting ranged uh, uh, thing in the game as well as a melee helmet providing melee damage which is huge, huge and accuracy that being 10% and I'll leave void this provides that 2.5% extra range and mage damage. However, it does have uh, requirements such as a 100 combat level. So, bear that in mind. But, what's here? Basically, confirming that the Elite Ranger actually provides even more range damage. But, they did actually nerf the um, damage on uh, using Void with Dwarf Cannon. Dwarf cannons, but you still get the accuracy. It's very important. It's quite overlooked. You do need to actually acquire the full set in order to get the full effect. So you need the gloves, the top, the robe, as well as your specialized helmet. Now there is also the mace, but it doesn't pr provide the most uh, bonuses, but we'll go into that later. Night mace and void seal do not contribute to the set effect. Any more about the specifics about acqu acquiring it, you need something called accommodation points, which are acquired from mi a mini game called Pest Control. Equipment can be sold to the Dodgy Squire for 80% of the uh, original uh, point value. However, you do not ha get or keep the item that you're exchanging it for. However, you can exchange these points for experience and things such as herb or packs. So that being said, if you ever want to complete training like all three combat styles on your account, it is advised to to get the whole set. So let's break down how you how to actually acquire said set. In order to acquire the set, which is a, a complete set and not the a complete a, a Lee Void set, which would acquire 1,250 points, you would need 850 points. Now that does not include the mace, however the mace is kind of just like not really used or viable. Maybe at the lowest combat level, but we'll get to that in like a separate video. And there's also the Void Knight Seal, which is just something that helps you in the minigame Pest Control. Again, we can get that into that in a separate video. Just know that you need 400 extra points if you want to acquire the Elite Void later on in the game. So 1,650 points if you'd like to acquire absolutely everything in the Elite vo uh, Void. But if you don't plan on making your account over 100 comment, you don't have to get that immediately. So briefly going over what Pest Control actually is and how to get there. There's only one world for Pest Control. And there are three separate boats. So if you'd like to get to Pest Control, the world has always been 344 for Pest Control. So, just log into that world, go to this grouping tab, go to the all the way to the right to this grouping thing. You can select on this drop down menu pest control and then click this teleport button. 
and your character will teleport. You can use this to teleport every 30 minutes. So there, there are three separate boats for pest control. A 50 combat boat right here, a 70 combat boat, and a 100 combat boat. And here are the rewards where you can purchase Void Knight armor and equipment as an experience. Now, it is, it is best advised to go to the uh, most respective combat level boat that you can go to that's highest. So take that into consideration if you want the fastest points per hour. Now if you'd like to significantly boost your race to get the the full set, you can do the, I believe, Falador Diaries. But here briefly is a chart on how, how many wins it takes. If you have the Hard and Above Diaries, it takes just about half across the board but if you are doing better and it only takes 107 wins and about which is about three hours and 34 minutes but if you're doing novice it would take about 284 wins and take about nine hours so hey if you want to complete the diaries first you are able to get the full set a lot quicker actual specifics of the void knight armor Across the board, each helmet does give the same bonuses, by the way. But not the set effect. Not the same set effect. We have six in all of the defensive bonuses for the helmet, as well as a .453 weight. These are all members only items, by the way. For the top, we have a 45 defensive bonus across the board. For the row bottom, we have 30. And for the gloves, we have a 6 across the board, except for magic defense. Which is, uh, I don't know why exactly they are doing that. And again, the gloves do also weigh the same as the helmet. And these are pretty white, lightweight, uh, if you add up the total, which is 15.873. Let's get into the actual uses of the Void Knight's armor. Now, the biggest thing that this article, I think, kind of doesn't talk about is the usage in Bounty Hunter and PKing, guys. In Bounty Hunter and anywhere below 20 Wilderness, you do not have to worry about losing the Void Knight armor in a PvP scenario. It will, it will appear broken in your inventory and you can repair it at Purdue, which is uh, located in very various locations throughout the... Gilnor. The Void is actually PVC, PVM scenarios. The range set is be best used against monsters with low defense and the melee set best competes with other melee gear on monsters with high defense. <coughs> but the Void Knight range set generally increases max hit but has less accuracy because of the bonuses. But it has also usefulness in Barrows where you can easily just switch between combat styles using the helmet, which is the main caveat for Void. You can just switch in between helmet and therefore have those bon bonuses, which is one it, one helmet switch. <coughs> but you get 30% accuracy and 25% bonus in damage if you pair it with the Dragon Crossbow at Borkath. Now, there is a huge downside of not being able to have anything in the helmet, top, bottom, or glove slot when using the set of Void. You do. You are able to speed up Slayer tasks where Slayer the Slayer helmet isn't a priority. <coughs> On top of being a great PK and useful thing, <coughs> it's useful for melee with God Swords, Dragon Defenders, Dragon Fire Shields. Extremely useful at Chinchapa. Chinchapa is being the, probably the fastest, if not one of the fastest ways to train range. However. It is not able to be used with a bow of fair and human demon unless you have the full set. However, you can use it which is void and it does give you a boost if you just have the bow. <laughs> However, you're not able to wear the crystal armor set. And it's very useful with the uh, staff of the dead. <clears throat> Attack, tremendous accuracy in the melee. High magic defense because it's like black dragon hide basically. High strength but slightly inferior to Bando's ar armor. <clears throat> Now, the disadvantage is that it's biggest loss to defense except magic. Certainly comparable to high level armor. Again, being level 42 defense armor, you, you, you gotta expect that. Now, if we're on the range side of thing, 
Toxic Blowpipe is also good for training as well as those Chinchapas. Like in other combat tasks, capable of giving an accuracy boost while not on Slayer tasks. Increase the max hit for range, which is not which is only otherwise possible with Missouri armor or crystal armor when using a crystal bow or bow of Ferdinand. Slight loss of range accuracy, slight defense loss compared to Black Dehyde. And for magic, in general, an increase of overall defensive stats, especially range defense. And then you just get that loss of accuracy as a con. Less of a problem fighting things that are weak to magic, though. Five different variations of the way Void can look for male and female. We have the Void Knight robes. And then we have the Void Knight robes ornament. As well as the Elite Void and the Elite Void set ornament. So these are all the possible combinations you can have for Void. Again, the Void ornament set is just a com cosmetic upgrade. However, I think it may have a parchment effect. We'll go into briefly and explain what parchments are, guys. But don't tr don't trust me on that because parchments are you do not want to lose your void. I, I recommend always parchmenting your void on this before. But this is very important if you ever want to go PK with void. In order to parchment you vo your void, you you need to parchment each and every single point piece. As you can see, I've right clicked my void and it has the eye right next to it. If it, it if it does not have that eye. You need to parchment it if, if you want to take it above level 20 wilderness. Now if you were to die in a PvP scenario, you would lose your parchment money and all your parchments. It would go to another player uh, in like uh, just like a fraction of it would. Uh, so be very careful in PvP scenarios, but not PvM scenarios if your void is parchmented. So that includes bounty hunter, how, however you would lose parchments if you die. Anyways, if you want to parchment your void, you just purchase these trover parchments in the Grand Exchange or you can acquire them through LMS if you are in iron. And you just go over here to Purdue, which is where you repair your void, it, actually if it is broken and you die in a PvP scenario. And you just simply take your void piece, use it on him, and you need about uh, 1.5 mil or like 500k extra feet in order to, for each and every piece you want a parchment. This can also be done for things such as rune pouch and untradeables such as the Xamarin cape. So very important. Just want to briefly touch on that because yes, you do not want to lose your void. If you lose your void, if it is not parchmented, if you lose it above level 20 wilderness and it is not parchmented, it is lost and you have to require it through pest control again. So be very wary. If you do have the parchment on it though. If you do die below level 20 wilderness, then you do keep it, so. <laughs> There's also a technicality here. If you were in a PvP world, you would not lose your parch- You would lose your parchments in a PvP scenario. However, if you were to die above level 20 wilderness, you would keep your- If your void was parchmented, you would keep it. However, if you were below level 12, 20 wilderness and you died in a PvP world, you actually keep your parchment- You keep your void- so, um, there. There you have it, guys. Be very careful about going in the PvP world if your Void is unparchmented and you are above level 20 Wilderness. Uh, void has not always been this overpowered. In 2017, or 2007, they actually added the uh, set effect. Because I believe the release date are very close to it. And then in 2017, they actually had nerfed it. So, no, it, it, it kind of has always been this overpowered, especially for Zergers. But... <clears throat> They did actually nerf uh, the damage bonus on the t from twenty percent to ten percent. I do have videos of me using the damage of the the void, and back when it was twenty percent, it was just, it's just absolutely cracked against peers. So that that gave peers a little bit more of a standing against voiders, and they actually did uh, buff the accuracy on the magic set by fifteen percent. So overall, a five percent nerf. And again, void range is just overpowered so with void. If you're using void, let's say ranged, it's advised to use that range prayer. If you're using the melee helmet, it's advised to use that piety. If you're using that magic, it's advised to use augury. So do let's see what the max possible hit using void. Now there's a lot of possible max hits, as you can use a lot of different set combinations, a lot of different weapons, but Let's just see what it is with just using regular void. Now regular void 
Regular Void, if you had were to acquire Elite Void, it does not give you that extra bonus for melee, so hey, there's that. You don't have to upgrade if you don't want to. But for a, an Armored Gun, Sword, Punching in the Numbers, ATS 99 Strength, Piety, Super Strength, Void Set, Torture, Infernal Cape, Old Tor Ring, Primor Primordial Boots, we have with a special attack, a maximum hit of 85, as well as a regular hit of 62. Believe it or not, we only with Elite Void do we get that 2.5%, I believe, extra bonus. So, this is not applicable, applicable whatsoever to Magic. You only get, I believe, that 45% extra accuracy using Void. So, on to ranged, on to the range max hit. Using accurate, not even rapid. Now, if you want to use rapid and have the best max hit possible, you have to acquire Elite Void. But... You are able to hit the maximum possible hit using Regular Void, Accurate, Dragon Arrows, Necklace of Anguish, 99 Range, Bridgeor, with Venator Ring, you're able to hit the maximum possible hit for range, which is 48, 48, as well as a double 34. They also have an upgraded Dark Bow from ba Bounty Hunter, actually, no, that's not even good. So there you have it. There's everything you need to know about Void in Old School RuneScape, including its history, how to acquire it. It's very popular in the PvP scenario, as well as PVM, guys. Very cheap to repair. So, I've been using it for years and years in Old School RuneScape. Almost a little too much, guys. But let me know in the comments what you want to see next, guys, if you like this sort of stuff. Peace out. I appreciate the views on the last video. We'll try to get a good thumbnail. I know. See you guys next one.